And anchor Paulina Butska is following the story that's got Las Vegans buzzing. And Paulina joins us right now from the Southwest Desert on Red Rock Canyon. Paulina. Well, Trisha, let me tell you this. I used to actually live in Oakland and it was beautiful, but this desert right now is what uh, Mayor Libby Schaff is calling gross. And let me tell you, I don't think Las Vegas is gross. I think it's actually pretty neat. We've got really cool cacti and every morning when I wake up, I have this really awesome view of the mountains. And Mayor Libby Schaff, Mayor Carolyn Goodman has a message for you. It's the comment that's breaking the interest when you are developing on the precious California coastline than in the gross desert of Las Vegas. So Even yeah, San Francisco anchors feeling the shade of this shade tree. I saw that shade. Uh -huh. It was slipped in there real quick, but okay, we got it, we got it. Las Vegas Mayor Carolyn Goodman has a few choice words of her own for the Oaklandite. We're looking forward to having another Oakland team come here if that's what's going to result. We certainly have made a great home and a great family out of the Oakland Raiders. Goodman addressing the issue of pollution and how the city has actually been very eco-friendly. Sometimes, unfortunately, we get some winds from the west, which is our predominant wind that brings us a little bit of pollution. But despite that, the city of Las Vegas has been awarded climate um, awards, and we're very sensitive to the environment. And while Mayor Goodman may have a smile on her face, some on Twitter, like County Commissioner Michael Naft, wasn't having any of the jabs aimed at our city. Calling the Oakland mayor an ignorant elitist, going on to say how many people, companies, and teams have left Oakland. With the future of the Oakland A's still up in the air, Mayor Goodman is making one last ditch effort to sway the team. My hope is, and I think there's been a feeling for a long time, that perhaps we were being used as a wedge so that they could drive home in Oakland, keeping the A's there. But as you know, we've had some wonderful alumni who choose to live here in Las Vegas because it is such a beautiful community of people. And it is certainly a beautiful community out here in Las Vegas. And Trisha, again, all of this is over who will be home to the Oakland A's. And that will be cited, will be decided very soon. Reporting live, I'm Paulina Butska. Back to you, Trisha, in the studio.